What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video and the Giants finally did something here in the coming days of free agency. We've seen a lot of moves in free agency such as Kirk Cousins going to Minnesota, Sam Bradford going to Arizona, and so on and so forth. Case Keenum going to Denver, all these other things going on right now uh, like Sammy Watkins going to the Chiefs and uh, Aaron Colvin going to the Texans, Malcolm Butler going to Tennessee, which is a great move. Logan Logan Ryan and Malcolm Butler meet up, former corners of the New England Patriots, and they meet up to Tennessee. I think that's just a great move right there. I wish we had Malcolm Butler, but unfortunately not. Anyway, the Giants made their move today. I hope this is not the last move they make today, but as of right now, this is the Giants made their move on uh, running back Jonathan Stewart now as far as the contract details goes I don't know qu I'm not quite sure on the contract details but I'm I'm hoping it's like a one-year two million dollar deal the guy's 31 years old this is a great move in this aspect okay now I'm gonna I'm, I know there's gonna be a lot of Giants video makers that are gonna be furious about this why didn't we get Carlos High why didn't we get Jeremy Hill so on and so forth I listen Jonathan Stewart is a perfect running back and this is what this signing tells you okay Jonathan Stewart is here to be a role player type of guy that power back type of guy we use on situational downs when we need to you know run right through the, up the middle or whatever it is D John Jonathan Stewart's 31 years old he knows and the Giants know that this is not a franchise running back type move here he's not going to be signed as a franchise running back he's not going to get you know 25 carries a game he's not that type of back he's there to fill in a role uh if you want to compare it to anything let it be like LeGarrette Blunt going to Philadelphia um you know he's going to be used in a in a running back type committee maybe he'll get the majority of the carries but he's not going to get a huge bulk of carries if you guys know what I'm saying and this also prepares this is also is a hint that the Giants are looking to get a running back early in this draft they're not looking for somebody to be the future of the running backs in the franchise such as a Carlos Hyde and Jeremy Hill that have the potential of doing that these guys have been uh, 1,000 yard runners before and you know signing signing one of those guys means the Giants aren't looking forward you know, aren't looking forward to getting a Saquon Barkley or a Ronald Jones or a um, a Darius Geis they're not looking for that so obviously now the Giants are interested you, they already shown interest I mean it's there it's been there before but this confirms it that the Giants are fully expecting to get one of those three running backs that I mentioned in this coming draft so um this is a big deal here uh Jonathan Stewart I'm gonna quickly look over the contract details uh, if you guys bear with me I'll probably skip to that let's see if the uh contract details comes out Okay, as far as the contract details are, that hasn't come out yet. I wish that would have happened, but I'm trying to break this down for you guys as quickly as I can so you guys can get the news from me uh, if you haven't gotten it anywhere else or if you haven't gotten the Giants notification yet from NFL.com or whatever. So, um, yeah, the Giants have signed running back Jonathan Stewart. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I will, if the contract details comes out, before I upload this, I'll definitely leave it in the description below, and we can talk about it there. Um, so any other Giants news that comes out, I'm definitely going to cover that. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.